You guys know all of those viral text animation reels you see all over Instagram reels, TikTok, YouTube shorts, and just sat there and wondered like, dang, how can I do that in DaVinci Resolve? Well, that is exactly what this video is going to be for. We're gonna be going over three different methods. A faceless method, a method that you can use in your IG reels for viral hooks, and then some simple, simple animations that you need to know to become a pro text animator. And guys, if you are new here, my name is Ryan and I help other editors get saucy in DaVinci Resolve. And my whole entire store bundle is literally 80 2% off where you can edit just like me. So go check that out. But without further ado, I say we hop right into this video. This is going to be the first example that we're going to be doing. I will die building this business and it's got a cool background. And this is going to be the second example. This is exactly how I made $10,000 this month with video editing. Now, as you guys can see, it's literally just like cool animations that made this video. And then also, to top it off, I'm gonna go over some simple animations and how you guys can make these animations all right here and then also save them as presets. Before we move forward, all of these animations that I just showed you right there are in my all-in-one bundle and it is a secret pack for my 10,000 subs. I threw that pack in there for completely free. It is seven packs, but now it's eight packs because I added that in there. It's a special offer. So if you are looking interested in like saving time and stuff like that, then definitely go check that out. But I'm still gonna give you guys all the sauce. Like you guys are gonna learn how to do this. But if you want to support me and you want to save your time, then go ahead and cop the bundle. So the first one we're going to go over is this simple text animation right here. But to simply recreate what I had done, all you have to do is go to the generators and grab this gradient line right here. And then what we're going to do with this gradient line is we're going to change this color to like a nice orangish, deep orangish color, just like so. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to the text and we're going to grab a text plus. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this as the foundation. So I'm gonna use Helvetica Noon as the basic title. And then actually that is the wrong title, Helvetica Noon. And we're gonna go to just regular italic, turn this up and then just say, I will die building just like so. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the fusion page with this certain text title. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit shift space and just add a nice juicy glow in here just to really give it like a premium feel because that's the look we're essentially going for here. This is going to be the foundation for our text titles. So now what we're gonna do is each wording you see, so I will die building, that's four words. So we're gonna duplicate this four times. So one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna deactivate all of these right here. And then for this one, we're gonna type in I and we're gonna simply just match this up. Now this is to get the best results, to be completely honest. There's other ways you could do this, but this is just the best way that I've personally found to do. Um, and then it, it takes a little more time, but it's also a cleaner result. Um, there's obviously so many different ways that you can do this, but this is obviously the way that I like to do it. Okay, cool. So now that you have that foundation, we're gonna go ahead and delete the original. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this down and reactivate all of these. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the place where it says die. Okay. And we're going to change this to a bold italic to give it that premium feel. So now let's say it just comes in like every five frames or so. We're going to take it like that. We're going to just swipe up and then we're going to go ahead and simply drag this to where it fades in six frames exactly because that's around the sweet spot that you guys would be doing. Okay. So I will die building and we're going to cut this. Then the best part is, is you can literally just do go ahead and copy this over. Then we're just gonna do this business, just like so. And we're gonna just center this just like that. And now obviously we're gonna go ahead and add two to this. Um, now this is a more difficult way, truth be told. But in my opinion, it's the best way because it's the be it's, it's more clean in my opinion. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and match this one up just like so. And then we're gonna turn business to a bold type of look. Okay, now we can go ahead and delete this one and then we can bring that one out just like that. And then now we have this. Just like that. And that's already a premium feel, guys. And we literally just knocked that out within a minute or so. And that really isn't bad at all if you think about the time that you just spent to get that cool animation. It's worth it, right? All right, guys, so for this one, we have a slightly different um, title text animation. So this is where the actual animation is gonna come into play. That back one was technically animate. The last one was technically animation, but this one's gonna be like more so the animation. So first of all, I start off by saying, this is exactly. So we're gonna do this, and then we're going to just size this down. And keep in mind, I'm using a different text title. And honestly, guys, the font matters the most. So Clash Variable Display is going to literally 
um, change your guys' life. This is like the best text title you can use. So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna put this over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Fusion page with this. And um, obviously I have a bunch of effects on this text, which I can go over in a different video, which I actually got from my homie. Shout out to my homie on Instagram. But we're gonna go ahead and add a transform node into this video right here, into the timeline, and just make sure that it's at the very end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go scroll down on the transform center X, Y, and we're gonna change it down to like right about there. And then we're gonna hit a keyframe and we're gonna go to frame 30, which is the absolute sweet spot right there. Now we're gonna go back to 0.5 and then head over to settings and turn on your motion blur and just crank that puppy up. And then we're gonna hit, we're gonna now smooth this animation out because now that you can see, it's just a really boring looking animation. So make sure your, your spline tool is open here and then just hit zoom to fit. And then click in this dead space and hit command A, double click, ease, and then go ahead and select out cubic. Now we have a super clean animation. Um, and then obviously you just fade it in, etc. whatever you want to do now. So you have this and then we're going to duplicate this because we already have that animation on there to save time. So now we're going to do is, and we're going to bring is right about there. And then now we're going to duplicate this and then do exactly. Now here's the thing about the exactly. We're gonna go ahead and turn exactly on a bold to really get a good premium feel and we're gonna size it up. So now we're gonna bring this exactly strategically like right here to make it look super clean. And then now we already are starting off strong. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this here. Right before I say how I and what we're going to do is we're going to actually swipe up and fade this in three frames exactly because once again, that's the sweet spot. And if you guys are familiar and watch my videos, there's this thing called Magic Zoom. It's a free plugin and it is the best plugin ever. So I just sauced that Magic Zoom above all my clips and now we have something like this. And we might just bring this out a little more. Now what we're going to do, we're going to deactivate this magic zoom. So I don't, now I'm going to go back to the fusion page and basically I'm going to delete this animation um, simply because I don't want an animation for this part. Now we just have to make sure this is zoomed in. So I know where I'm going, how, and we'll bring this like maybe right here. And then we'll do, I, and then we'll do made made just like so and then we'll do made like right there i think it looks good like right there so now guys i'm going to take this clip and i want to mask out myself because the the vision was to kind of put money exploding behind me and what i'm going to do is i'm going to double click and unlink these clips and take this clip and hold option and scroll up basically just duplicating it now we're going to go into the fusion page with this clip and we're going to hit shift space for a magic mask now this is only for people who have the studio version which i highly suggest that you invest into that but basically we're going to go to better and we're just going to draw all over my subject and just delete anything that you don't need anymore so like this stuff right here and then we're going to track back and forth so now that i have my subject that is masked out i found this cool cache explosion um, on the internet for completely free and i will link this cache explosion in the link in the description but basically this is what it looks like um actually i have playback on so we'll just go to full but this is what it's looking like. It's looking like this super crispy, clean um, cache explosion. Obviously, with the help of my magic mask, it's making it look 10 times better. But guys, I can show you how I got this because all I'm gonna simply give you is the footage. So what you have to do is you have to delta key it out. So this is what your footage is gonna look like originally. And you're gonna hit shift space for a delta keyer. And we're gonna key out that green, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrum through the footage till we find like right here where we can see this, this dollar. We're gonna hit shift space for scan lines. Now, obviously you can see right now it looks really bad. So we're just gonna crank it up and it gives a hologram effect. Then to make this sell the effect, we have to make it look like money, obviously. So we're gonna change that color to green right there. So now that we have that and we put our mask over it with some simple speeding up techniques, we have something just like that, which is great. 
So now I'm gonna show you guys how I got that little text animation in the beginning where it kind of zoomed in just like so. But if you guys did end up wanting to get my pack, I do have that zoom effect already pre-made into the thing. So if we really wanted to, we can come and bring this preset. We don't even have to do anything. All we have to do is just bring this in, go ahead and slap a money sign, type what we want, 10,000, and then, so actually it would be right here, tripping, boom. Cool, and then let's say we wanted to go to shading, go to the red outline, turn the red outline thickness up and change this to black. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I really like the way this settings look. So after, before the transform node actually, um, we're gonna hit shift space for a glow, just the simple stuff guys, really just all simple stuff. Um, we're giving it a premium feel and then we're gonna add a drop shadow if you guys follow me along, you really know this is like some this is like second nature to me. So we turned up the shadow strength and then turned down the blur. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add scan lines yet again and turn it up and then change that color to a green color. And then now obviously you can see we have something like this. Um, and if we wanted to make it faster, we can by just messing with the transform node. Um, all we'd have to do is just take this point and move it in like 20 frames. Um, and then you guys would be good if you wanted to make it faster. So it looks something like that, which I think looks a lot better in, in the, anyways. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a simple animation that just like kind of goes under. So saying this month and then just size it down. And then after the animation, we're just gonna bring it like right here. And then it would look something like this. Now we have this magic zoom and we're going to now apply this back on and you can kind of see like where we're going with this. So if I turn my playback to this, we're actually going to size this one up like this. We're going to do width, bring this out to the rest and then do video and then do editing just like that. Now you have that intro completely done. Now guys, I'm going to show you how to do this slide down technique and then the slide down glitch. Now, I'm not gonna show you the right, left, and, and up and down and side to side because it's really the same technique, it's just moving in a different direction. So you guys don't need all those techniques in theory. So we're gonna do the same thing by grabbing a text plus, and we're gonna create this as clash variable display, size this puppy up, let's say slide down, let's say we want this bold. All we're gonna do is go to the fusion page, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to frame zero and hit a shift space for a transform. We're gonna go up approximately to 0 0.5 or 6.5 and then go to 30 frames, like I said, that sweet spot. Turn it to 0 0.5 and go to the settings and then pull the motion blur up and then go to zoom to fit and hit command A, double click, ease out. Ease out cubic. Now you have the slide down technique and if you want it to fade in, simply just fade it in just like so, six frames. Now we're gonna duplicate this over for the absolute glitch one. And all we're gonna do is go to shading and turn the opacity down, hit a keyframe, go two frames forward, go all the way up, go one frame, go down, go two frames up, two frames down, one, two frame, one frame, one frame, one frame, one frame, one frame. Now you have the glitch effect, okay? So now you guys do that with any, any and all directions and you guys can just save those as presets by just powering on your power bins and then just throwing it in your text bin. So all I gotta do is just throw that puppy in my text bin and that will open up in every single project file that I ever create. Now guys, I know this was a pretty decently long video, but it was worth it because there was a lot of sauce in this video. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want any more fire videos, just let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Don't forget to check out the animation pack and the all-in-one bundle really, it's 82% off, it's a no-brainer. I don't know why you guys wouldn't get it. You get courses eight packs. Actually, it's advertised as seven, but I threw this pack in there that I just showed you guys. So that means it's eight packs technically and a course. So guys, I would go get it if I were you. It's probably the best deal I'm running at the moment right now, but I hope you guys have a blessed day and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.